right con so let's continue on and um with this lesson and um one thing i did want to mention as well is uh the inflation is driving up prices it says inflation drives up price of christmas dinner and eggnog so the inflation continues and it's like nobody can get a break he saw with his uh intentional inflation or recession whatever you want to call it is affecting people people have to go out of their savings just to have their dinner their annual wicked ass dinner on christmas on um on this day and that's uh, like i said that's driving people's uh, anxiety high and they even though they want to have time and uh have fun and celebrate they still have their worries their day-to-day -day worries you know because that's the heavenly father keeping them in mind that there's nothing good coming to this place at all man you know so let me get um some scriptures First John, the book of First John, chapter 2 and 15. And it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. So these holidays are of the world. It's a tradition of men. And it just so happened that it's against the scriptures. But you see our people out here scrambling in the last minute trying to get gifts for their mediocre children when all hell's breaking loose. So the Lord told us not to love this world, you know, to told the true believers to not to love this world and not to because really this is the biggest time of the year. And like I said, I um, usually would be losing weight for there's an annual tournament in Granite City, uh, Missouri. Um, uh, it's a holiday Red Schmidt tournament. You know, I, it's around this time and I would be getting ready for it. I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even be thinking about Christmas, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't eat. The out bust of my ass, man. You know what I'm saying? on Christmas Day, on Christmas Eve, wrestling and shit. So the Lord kind of formed me into exactly what I'm doing at this moment, which is feeding the sheep, sheep feeding the sheep, feeding the lambs, okay? So this is verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the love of Yahweh Bashimi al Shai is not in you if you continue in this heathenistic nature. And these heathenistic customs. You know? And it's really immature. If you're a grown ass man and you're involved with these holidays and things of that nature, hey man, that's you ain't in the right spirit. Verse 16 it says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. Verse nine or verse seventeen, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the, the the heavenly Father abide forever. Okay. So this uh, the mirth is fading. Uh, 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 the mirth is fading away. You can't even have a proper Christmas. You don't know if you even have enough money. You people out there going broke for this nonsense. First Corinthians seven and, and thirty one. It says, And they that use this world and not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. So the fashion of this world passing away, the spirit of this world is passing away. It don't even feel like feel like Christmas. It used to be a spirit to it. But there's a dark cloud over Babylon the Great. And that dark cloud is destruction and judgment. That's why you see see uh, people going through it. Depression, suicide, all these things are happening. Because the Lord has 
has has had enough. You know, it's not even really how, how it used to be. Okay. Eggnogs up. Ham. Okay. The grocery bills sky high. All for one day. And the, the fun is only going to last a minute. Then it's back to what? This damn... This damn... With these damn curses. This, this damn misery in this place. Now, every day... I see the prophecies coming, so it's just like every other day. The Lord is doing a marvelous work on the planet Earth. I'm not going by my feelings. I've already f hey, felt that Christmas. You know, you have a woman. She, you know, y'all do, do gifts exchanges. She bake you goodies. Had a woman do that for me. You know what I'm saying? You, you go to her house. She come to yours or whatever the case may be. I doubt that that's even going on anymore. A lot of these people, hey, they ain't got no more life inside of them. So that infl inflation, as this dollar is getting ready to crash, the food is going sky high. And just to clear it up, let me get that in Jeremiah chapter 10. This is Jeremiah chapter 10 and 1. Hear ye the word of, uh, which the Lord speaketh unto you, unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the, for the, for the, heathen, for the heathen are dismayed at it. Verse 3. For the custom of the people are vain. For one cutteth, this is the scripture, that, that cuts and denounces the Christmas and uh, the Christmas tree. It says, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the out of the forest, the work of the hands of the work of the workman, act uh, with his axe. Talk, talking about the preparation that gets up to have a Christmas tree in your house. Verse four: They deck it out. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither uh, neither also is it in them to do good. So the, the customs of the heathen are vain. The customs of the heathen, of the, of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, they're upset with that. They're upset that year by year and generation by generation we keep these damn customs. Going to see Santa, worried about Santa coming. Very immature, man. Childish. That's why judgment's coming. They, they, and this, teenager fairly shot at Mall of America. Whoever did this, we uh, we will catch them. So the Mall of America is in Minnesota. I've been there once. It's a pretty big mall. It's the Mall of America. But as you can see, as these people are going out doing their shopping, you got <laughs> these psychos, okay, ready to prey on people. You know, that's why it's best to just go in there and get out. Go in there and know what you're going to get and get out. Got these slow ass people here in front of them. They're, they're walking like one mile per hour. They're checking out, checking out their items. It's slow as hell. It's like, God damn, man. So you got to suffer that. But the Heavenly Father is getting fed up and sending people back to the spirit world. That's what he, that's what he owns. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about that's what the Lord's on is ready to uh, uh, have, have recompense come back on the planet earth okay uh, uh, so this is Revelation chapter 18 and 4 and it reads and, that, and I pray that all the sincere brethren the hopeful elect the true believers are protected in this time and the Lord has got your back so it says Revelation after chapter 18 and 4 and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her none of her plagues. Okay, so if you come out of her, you won't receive the, the plagues that's coming. 
And it's talking about coming out of her spiritually. Totally forsaking everything that we've learned here. Because our people are joined hand in hand with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and America. So guess what? Their ass is going to get the same thing that he's getting. And as you can see, Esau's going down. Okay, so verse 16. First, or verse 5. So like, it says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities. So the Lord, he hasn't forgotten nothing. You know, nothing. Nothing that's going on, man. Getting all these getting togethers and uh, 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 big fellowships. They want a fellowship when it's this time. Otherwise, it's just kicking it and chilling. But no, it's a fellowship. You should come come, uh, come by and get a plate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's for the birds, man. Honestly. And you try to tell them that, and they don't want to hear it. Why? Because they ain't right worth a damn. And they show it by their actions. Somebody keep doing something that they know they ain't right, that know it ain't right, and you tell them, you show them, that person is going to get what they got, what they got coming. This is Revelation chapter two and sixteen. Repent, or else I will come, come unto thee quick, quickly, and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. All right, so the Lord is coming quickly. This happened quickly. All the snow, all the wind, all the uh, ice and rain that came quickly upon these people. A lot of people without power, you know, got flipped over on, uh, uh, out here in the streets. So the Lord's coming quickly. He's making it known what he set, what he accepts and what he don't. And he doesn't accept Christmas Eve, Christmas, and none of these damn holidays. So it would be a who of you to repent and to do the right thing. Okay? That's our main message. Repent and come out of these, uh, uh, come out of your your wicked ways man so lord willing this was edifying i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rachah kodash double honor to the apostles and elders that great millstone who will well shalom